Okay, so now we will discuss about mathematical functions. So these are the mathematical functions available in PostgreSQL. So first one is absolute. So absolute means it will return. See, I am going to give different values. ABS minus one. ABS. Executive. See, if we give zero to the absolute, then it will return zero. Otherwise, if you give any negative value or positive value, this absolute function will return respect to positive value only. I mean, if you give minus 10, it will return plus 10. If you give minus 20, it will return plus 20. So if you give plus values, so always return plus values. So that is the absolute function. Next one is seal. Seal of 12.345 and seal of 12.567 seal of 12.789 okay so here first first function i am taking less than 5 after the point okay here i am taking equal to 5 after this point so next one i am taking greater than or equal to 7 after this point so we will execute it. So it will return 13. Okay. So you, you don't mind whether if it is greater than 5 or less than or equal to 5. So it will return next integer value. That is the seal function. Okay. So seal function means it rounds a number up to the nearest integer. Which is greater than or equal to the specified number. Okay, so what will be the next number of this decimal part? So that will be return. Next one, ceiling is also same. So you can see same function, ceiling also, and division and uh, I will explain floor, floor and round. After that, we will see division. So same example I am taking. So here, what is the floor? Okay. See, here it returns decimal number. Okay, if you are giving floating any floating point number, it will return decimal number. Okay, so floor means it will round a number down to the nearest integer, which is less than or equal to the number. And next one is uh, round. See, if this after the point, if this number, first digit number is less than 5, then it will return decimal number as it is. And after this decimal, after this point, that means the first digit of fractional part that is greater than or equal to 5, then it will return adding plus 1 to the decimal part. That means here 12 is there, so it will return 13. If we are having 14, then it will return 15. See, okay. So round means 
if the first digit of fractional part is less than 5 then it will return decimal number and if the first digit of this fractional part that is greater than or equal to 5 then it will add plus 1 to the decimal number and then it will return so that is about round so round means it will round the number to the nearest integer or to a specified decimal places so division select div of 40 slash 2 So this is division, it performs division operation between two operands. So 40 divided by 2, so 20 is the coefficient, not remainder. And mod, mod means it will display the reminder. Okay, so that is the difference between division and modulo. So if you give 21, then remainder will be 1. See, 1. Next one. What will be the next one? Mod is completed. Pi. Pi. So, pi value it will display 3.14. And power. Two comma 4 I am giving. So, 2 power 4 how much? 16 so it's 16 it will display and round completed and the sign sign of minus 10 comma sign of plus 10 sign of 0 See, if you give negative number, then it will return minus 1. If you give positive number, it will return 1. If you give 0, then it will return 0. So, this is the purpose of sine function. The square root. Select SQRT. What is the square root of 16? 4. So this is about square root. Next one, random. Random. See, 0 0.983. Again, execute it. 0 0.275. Again, 820. 0 0.050. That means random for every execution, it will display the number which is lies between 0 and 1. So that is the purpose of random. Okay, so it will not cross 1. So it returns the number which is lies between 0 and 1. So this is about mathematical functions.